Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today we're here to talk about my writing experiment for the month of June. So in the month of June I decided that I wanted my writing experiment to be kind of a grouping of things not just one thing and so my experiment for the month of June was writing a blog. I used to write a blog way back in the day before I actually started my YouTube channel. I actually stopped writing my blog before I started my YouTube channel but it was at least before the YouTube channel. I used to write the blog and I didn't, I don't think anyone ever read it so it didn't matter really how much work I put into it. I knew nothing about um, search in and up optimization or how to get found on the internet or how to have anyone to actually search it and find me and know what they were reading. It just was not something that I was familiar with and that is why I quit doing that and then I went to YouTube and then I've learned some things from YouTube that made me want to go back into blogging. Wow talk about some crazy sentences there. One of the main reasons why I wanted to start blogging again is because I have had a long-standing need to write like short fiction or um, series, different types of things that are shorter and are not full-fledged novels, um, whether it be poetry or just like a short story or um, real-life tales of crazy shit that's happened in my life, uh, things like that that I have wanted to write about, but I feel like before, you know, it was kind of taking away time from the actual novels itself, and I didn't want to do that, but I'm realizing that mixing the two things together is definitely helping. So that was kind of my starting off point, and that I don't typically have a lot of time to sit down and write, and as far as creative writing goes for writing a novel, it takes a lot of time and you can't really feel very accomplished when you're only having, you know, five to six hours to write a week versus what a lot of other author tubers are able to write because a lot of the author tubers that I'm friends with and that I follow, you know, writing is their only job. So they have a lot more time than I do. So I don't necessarily feel as accomplished, if that makes sense. Which is not to say that writing for a half hour a day isn't an accomplishment because it is. You just don't feel like you're getting anywhere and you're very slowly making progress. I decided that with the blog I would be able to have a smaller goal and therefore would be able to hit more goals and would feel like I was actually accomplishing something. So it gives me the time to sit down and I can, you know, write a first draft, edit it, do a couple of pass throughs and then post the blog within a week or two, depending on the length and the amount of time it takes me to write the original. I decided that with the blog I wanted to write one post a week and I am currently posting on Sundays and I think I'm going to keep doing that uh, just because like this week I didn't even get to write the first draft until Sunday because that's today and this week's post is about what this video is about. It's about the experiment itself and today's the last day and I should have picked something else and then went with the experiment next week but I didn't do that so poor decision on my part but that's why we're here. It's a learning experience. For the first four weeks my titles were a welcome which basically was just like a hey I'm here and I'm trying this. Week two was how I rate books. If you enjoy my booktube content, I highly recommend you check out blog about how I rate books. I do have a video on my channel, but it has changed somewhat since then. But also if you read any of my current reviews on Goodreads, you'll kind of see how I do it. But I do have like a system set up for rating. And because I plan to rate books on that platform on my blog, I wanted to have like a set page that says, okay, this is how I rate my books so that you know how I come to the decision that I come to. So that was week two. Week three was Camp NaNoWriMo for 2019. So much like the video um, last week where I talked about what was going on in my cabin, what my goals were, things like that, I did that as well in my blog post. Sometimes these are going to correlate, like today's correlates and last week's correlated with the video that's being posted on Sunday or a different day of the week. Uh, but a lot of times it's not going to. Right now it's really just me setting up the blog itself and kind of introducing myself to whoever is there reading it. And I do like the system that it has now on Wix, which is where my website is kept, which by the way my link is in the description box below, because it gives you the option to like and comment and things like that, which six or seven years ago when I had a blog it wasn't something that my blog had the capability of doing, so like how would you know someone was there reading it? I mean, I, it was it was a very weird process so and as I said week four is talking about the blog. I have had the chance to work on some short fiction that I will be posting within the next month sometime. I haven't 
completely set up my schedule for the month of July. I'm not sure if it's going to be other content or if it's going to be nano related content. Not 100% sure yet. It may also be readathon content. I'm not sure. I've got a lot going on in the month of July. So it's just going to be a learning experiment for all of us. I definitely want to get some more of the original short fiction up and I may do that and count those words towards camp. I'm not really sure what I'm doing with that yet but I will let you know as I figure it out. For the experiment itself I would say that it was a good idea. I am enjoying it. I do like what I'm doing and I am enjoying getting to write these shorter, quicker, more accomplished feeling type stories where I'm not having to spend an entire year trying to get that payoff where I can get it in a couple of weeks. And I think it is more motivating and I'm being more self-motivated to get to finish them. And I feel like if I'm getting the joy out of accomplishing those, I'll get an even greater joy out of accomplishing the actual novel, which will make me want to write the novel more, which hopefully will help. Um, it's also helping me get into a better writing routine because I don't currently have a writing routine. It's kind of just willy-nilly whenever I have a minute. Lately, it's just been whenever there's been a writing sprint, which again, if you're doing Camp NaNoWriMo, I have in the description box below like an entire set of links for live sprints that are going on from my cabin and anyone else that I know. Um, that has turned, that has announced live write-ins, they're all down there. So if you're looking for more of this, let me know in the comments below if you have a blog or if you've considered writing a blog, or if you have a YouTube channel that I don't currently know about, you can let me know about that also. And let me know how you feel about this experiment. Is it something that you think is unnecessary because I have the YouTube platform, or is it something that you like the idea of? Let me know in the comments below because I would love to chat with you about it. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends and pretty much in the month of July. I should be posting four videos a week. I think I'm doing Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. I think. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of the wonderful videos I have coming up in the month of July, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!